After filming hundreds of abandoned locations in Pennsylvania, many of you have brought to my attention that I may have accidentally caught some paranormal evidence without even realizing it. I've always been a skeptic considering that nothing out of the ordinary has ever happened to me in any of the locations that I've explored, but lately things have gotten a bit strange. So here's the deal. After looking into some of your claims, I'm actually intrigued by how much evidence there is. I've decided that I'm going to actively seek out some of the most so-called haunted locations in Pennsylvania. Whether it be an entire town or just an intersection, there are plenty of so-called haunted locations in every Pennsylvania town. This is one of them. Tonight is going to be a special night. Yet another legend at Altoona that seems to spark a lot of controversy. Tonight, I'm going to explore the Mishler Theater and all of its glory to find out once and for all if those childhood stories were worth getting creeped out over. Many paranormal investigators, including the TV show Ghost Hunters, have visited the century-old theater in hopes to capture some type of evidence. Local historians argue that the legend behind the theater are simply just stories. I tend to agree in most cases, but the point of this series is to prove it to myself, so... Let's start with the location history before discussing the legendary story of the location, followed by my own investigation of this old theater and my own determination of whether I believe it's haunted based on the evidence that I myself gather. So without further ado, let's get into the history. The Mishler Theater and Movie Theater located at 1208 12th Avenue in Altoona, Pennsylvania was designed by Albert E. Westover and built by the local theater owner and manager Isaac Charles Mishler and opened on February 15, 1906. Nine months later, the neighboring Rothert building caught fire, which quickly spread to the theater, destroying the interior. The theater was rebuilt and reopened in 1907. After disuse in the mid-20th century, the theater was considered for demolition in 1965. In response, the Altoona Community Theater and the Blair County Arts Foundation purchased it and began renovation. The theater reopened in 1969 for a performance of The Sound of Music. Early renovation included replacement of the seats in the lobby chandelier. The new one purchased in 1970 at a Metro Goldwyn Mayer auction. Major structural plumbing and electrical work began in the early 1990s. At the most recent estimate, the restoration has a cost approximately of $1.8 million. So let's go inside one of the most fascinating locations that I've ever had the opportunity to film, the beautiful, historic Mishler Theater. Before we go in, let's get to the legend of this place. So supposedly, the theater is haunted by a few ghosts, including a dog. Isaac Mishler himself is said to be the most active ghost. There are also many reports of a female spirit who plays pranks in the bathroom. Many people claim to smell cigar smoke and see it on occasion. No one seems to know why a howling dog can be heard on certain nights. But hopefully, I hear it. So... Let's go inside. And you know, I got to say that this place is unbelievable. I mean, it's almost overwhelming how beautiful and how I can't, uh, it's, it is, it's, it's insane. Not too many people realize 
or ever really paid attention to the detail in this place. Or, or I don't think a lot of people even know or care these days, but it is so overwhelmingly beautiful that I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I had to I had to really express it because this is by far I I'm gonna say the most beautiful place that I've ever explored. But just because a place is beautiful doesn't mean that it can't be extremely haunted. All those years coming here as a kid in elementary school, field trips to watch plays or whatever, we were never told that there was a bar and lounge downstairs where the actors or whoever, you know, would kind of take the edge off before a play. But yeah, it's pretty neat. And uh, there's also a lot of reports of hauntings down here as well. After walking around in here for quite a long time by myself, you know, in the complete total silence of the place, I didn't see or hear anything. Uh, now, that doesn't mean that it doesn't happen to other people, but I myself didn't seem to capture anything or, you know, smell anything, nothing of that nature. Uh, but if anything, it was eerily quiet. There was nothing. You know, there were no noises or anything. It was, it was just so silent. I couldn't even hear my own footsteps walking through. 
Uh, but as I went outside, nothing could prepare me for what I was about to see. So there you have it, folks, the famous Mischler Theater. And just because I didn't see anything or hear anything or feel anything or smell anything doesn't mean that others haven't. Yeah, I have to be fair. But the truth is, is on this night, the true monsters were outside, hence the cops. It wasn't really for the dog. It was for a human shooting another human. So busy night in Altoona. I thank you for joining me in debunking the dead. Check it out, man. I mean, this merch is like really sick. Check me out, bro.